Ronix is a modular plug and play I.O. system for ROS. It's designed to make it easier and faster to build robots. I'm now going to take you through using Ronix to build a robot arm to show you how easy it is. Building a robot from scratch could be roughly broken down like this. We'll start with the physical design. Obviously that's not really covered by Ronix, but I'll give you a brief overview of the arm. It's got 5 degrees of freedom plus a gripper, and it's driven by continuous rotation RC motors. These are not position servos, so to get joint angle feedback we're using some magnetic rotary encoders. Using the SolidWorks DURDF converter we can automatically generate the robot description. This loads straight into RBIS, so we have a movable visualisation of the arm straight away. Then we have to make the electronics to get the sensors and motors connected to some kind of control. Except that we don't have to, because we're going to use Ronix instead. So here's a Ronix. It's a modular system. The stack we have here consists of a general I.O. node, a power supply, and a bridge to connect it to the host PC. That gives us 12 analog inputs and 12 digital I.O. lines. Obviously, you might want much more than that for your project. Because Ronix is expandable, it can grow just as you need by adding more and more boards to the stack. So now we've got the hardware, it's time to get it all running under control, and once again, Ronix is going to come to our rescue. Because the hardware plugs straight into Ronix, there are no drivers and embedded code to worry about. Because it integrates with ROS control, we can get it moving almost straight out of the box. In fact, the only code I had to write for this project was a modification to tell the Ronix how to make an RC-style control signal to move the motors. And you can see that highlighted here. After that, it's just configuration. We have to add a few lines to the robot description to set up the inputs and outputs for each joint. Then we need to load the controllers and set tuning parameters. Then we have a launch file to start the controller manager and set the control pins on the Runex to be outputs. And that's it. So here's the robot running under control, directed from Move It. Once we had the parts, it only took a couple of days to get it up and running. This leaves the final and of course most interesting and challenging part, which is the high level behavior of the robot. Unfortunately, we're out of time, so I'll leave that as an exercise for the viewer. Thanks for watching.